What's going on everyone? So, if that little indication right there doesn't give it away, we're gonna be doing an oil change today on the Rebel. So we're gonna drive over to Advanced Auto Parts right now. I'm gonna show you which oil, oil you need for the Rebel, which filter you need, and then I'm gonna go, you know, just a basic overview of how to do it. I'm gonna show you step by step. It's very simple, so let's get to it. Guys, Advanced Auto Parts, let's go in there, get the oil, filter, and whatever else we need to change this oil. Okay, so this is what we're gonna need here. 5W20, this is five quarts. Then we got two other quarts right here due to the fact that the 5.7 liter Hemi takes seven quarts. We're gonna use mobile one because I, you know, it's my preference. Use mobile one in the vet. So I'm gonna put it in the truck as well. Matching filter right here. There's the size right there. If you want to use a mobile one filter, there you go. That's the little part number right there. And then the two, only tools you're really going to need for this are one of these right here. This is a little grip to remove the oil filter from underneath. And then just your little socket wrench right here with a 13 millimeter socket just to remove that oil drain pan bolt underneath. So, all right. Oh, one more thing. Because I'm a little claustrophobic. I like to put the truck on little rhino ramps right there just to give me a little bit more headroom under there and an oil pan drain right here just a little container drain your old oil in there and then you can you know filter it back into the bottles whatever you want to do to properly dispose that so all right let's get to it all right so before we get started i like to put the truck in off-road mode gonna raise it about another two inches or so then we're gonna go here push apps and go to the settings scroll down to suspension and then you're gonna see tire jack mode when we press that air suspension temporarily disabled so when you're underneath it, the truck isn't gonna try and start self-leveling itself. So, you know, it's just a little safety precaution. Alrighty, so let's get to this. You can see the truck's up on the rhino ramps now. Gives you plenty of room to work underneath there. So let me show you what we've gotten done so far. I'm gonna come back here to where the oil pan is. You can see that bolt right there. It's the 13 mil bolt that you need to move with your little wrench. And then you just drain the oil out of there into this pan so it kind of gushes out of there pretty quick so once it's kind of like this the best thing to do what you want to do is come over here and undo the engine oil cap Sure it all drains out because that's where you're going to be putting the oil in. So next, we got to get up in there because that's the oil filter and we need to replace it.
Also, be sure to <laughs> you have moved your oil drain pan when you're doing this because a lot of oil does leak out from here. Oil filter right there. A little bit of that engine oil. Just a little bit up in there. Okay, now that the new filter's in, we're gonna be putting in the new oil, but you wanna make sure you put this drain plug back in before you pour any oil in, because if you pour it in beforehand, it's just gonna dump right onto the floor. that little oil indicator. I guess we gotta push it one more time so it's twice. Go to reset. Okay. There we go. Alright. Being a little temperamental here. There we go. Go back over here to apps, settings, just scroll down to suspension, and we can turn off tire jack mode. That will en enable the air ride again, and we can click back down into normal ride mode. So what I would recommend you do is drain the oil now back out of these into the containers you bought and then you can go and recycle it. I know Advanced Auto Parts, I know uh, is that maybe Discount Auto Parts, I know they recycle oil for you, so you could go drop it off there. You know, you don't wanna just empty it back in here and throw it in that trash can because, you know, it's not getting properly disposed of. So, there you have it. Oil change on the Rebel. You know, this is, it's not just, you know, Rebel specific, you could do, you know a regular ram 1500 you know any trim it's all the same you know obviously for the hemi 5.7 liter engine so hope you found this little video helpful you know stick around for more videos later god this truck is dirty oh, wheels.